Kia ora everyone, Andrew here. Welcome to my YouTube channel of hiking and photography adventures in Aotearoa. We're still stuck in lockdown unfortunately, so I've been using this downtime to try and rethink the camera gear that I take with me on my longer hiking trips and specifically looking at ways that I can reduce my weight and one of the ways I can do that is rethinking the tripod and I've come up with a solution for a lightweight hiking tripod that dramatically reduces my weight without reducing the performance and I want to share that with you today. This is the tripod I've been taking on most of my hiking trips. Uh, it's a little lightweight carbon fibre tripod made by Benro and as you can see it's really tiny. Um, it's full working height with the centre column extended, it's only about 1.3 metres so it's not a full size tripod by any means but it offers me a reasonable height. It weighs a tad over 1 kg with this head that I've put on it. Um, and thus far it's been an okay solution but uh, the problem I posed for myself is was there some way that I could reduce this weight even further and to do that I had to think first of all about what a tripod actually does and what it consists of. Um, obviously uh, its main purpose is to stabilize your camera. I am not a big tripod user, I prefer to shoot handheld um, but occasionally you do need a tripod. Um, particularly for long exposure photography, uh, for astrophotography, um, if I want to photograph myself um, and for myself shooting these videos as well I need a tripod to put my camera on while I talk to the camera obviously. Um, so I do have a need for a tripod but it's not a great need. Um, so what does it consist of? Well it consists of three legs and a head fundamentally so my first step was to look at these components and think about what else I could use instead of a tripod. Anytime I'm doing a long distance trek I'm carrying two of these. These are lightweight aluminium trekking poles uh, and most longer distance hikers will use these so this was a really good starting point for me to think about how I could turn these into a tripod. Now I'm about to embark on a long distance trip with my partner and each of us is going to carry two of these so we have four in total so it's certainly an option that I could turn three of these into a tripod. Now I'm not the first hiker to think about different options for a tripod. Long distance hikers in particular are well known for attempting to improvise and modify equipment and think outside the box. One of the more common and more popular ways uh, to turn trekking poles into a tripod is simply to take the trekking poles and bungee or tie um, a little mini tripod to the top and, um, and then that kind of gives you a very rough homemade tripod. Um, it's a bit fiddly and a bit um, wobbly and unstable and it's okay I suppose for a very light compact camera or a GoPro or something like that but it's really not suitable for trying to shoot stills with a heavier camera and larger lenses so I had to think of something else. And what I came up with was this guy here. This is a 3D printed plastic trekking pole adapter. I did not come up with this, this is not my product. I found this on a 3D model sharing site called Thingiverse. This was created by a person named Tom Dreyfus. You have a platform on top that you can attach a ball head to and then underneath you have three angled sockets that are designed to fit the end of a trekking pole. Um, so you take your three trekking poles, mount them on top, screw a ball head in the top and you have your lightweight tripod. I have my tripod legs, I have my adapter, 
So all I need to do now is attach one of my existing ball heads and I have my lightweight tripod and initially that is what I did. However, when it comes to long distance hiking, you're talking about a group of people who will cut the handle off a toothbrush to save a few grams. So a regular ball head was never going to cut it in the long term. And the reason for that is the same reason that a tripod was never going to cut it. You're talking about a piece of equipment that is designed to stabilize a heavy camera and lens and as a result ball heads tend to be quite heavy, just like tripods. There are accessory ball heads which are designed to carry equipment like monitors and on-camera lights. And these are much lighter and smaller than a tripod ball head. And I did look into these as an option, however, they aren't designed to carry the kind of weight that you have with a camera and a lens, and they also lack some of the features of a ball head. Eventually, I settled on the Leofoto MBC20 Micro Ball Head. There's a couple of things about this ball head that make it uh, the perfect choice for what I'm looking for. The first obviously is it's tiny and uh, it's also very lightweight uh, but despite this there's not much of a sacrifice in terms of features when it comes to this ball head. If we were to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Joby 5k tripod head which is what I normally use on my tripod the Joby head has a maximum rated weight of 5 kilograms. The Leo Photo head has a maximum weight of 8 kilograms. Both of them are ARCA compatible. Both of them have a separate pan head. The Joby tripod head weighs over 200 grams, but the Leo Photo head only weighs 90 grams. There is one additional unusual feature with this Leo Photo ball head which makes it a perfect option for me. I really love shooting panoramas but in order to get a uh, accurate panorama you need a level camera and you need a level tripod. With a traditional tripod head the panning base is positioned below the ball joint. Uh, this means that if you have a tripod that is on an angle and you then level your camera using the ball joint, as you then pan your camera through the full motion of a panorama shot, the camera will not remain level and will start to tilt. In fact, it will only be level at the very position that you leveled it. This means to get an accurate panorama shot, you have to level the tripod legs first. The Leo Photo ball head is designed quite differently. The ball joint is located on the base of the tripod head and the panning base is positioned above this. What that means is that if your tripod legs are on an angle and you level your camera using the ball joint, the camera will remain perfectly level as you pan it through the full cycle of a panorama shot. This is particularly useful for landscape photographers because often when you're on uneven terrain, trying to level the legs of your tripod can be quite a chore. And this is particularly true if you're using trekking poles as your tripod legs. So now we can put this tripod together and it's very simple. Uh, we take our 3D printed base, we need a 1 quarter 20 screw, and then we have our tripod head. Um, I've added a 1 quarter 20 threaded little disc or washer. Um, the reason for that is that I want to be able to remove the ball head without having to fuss about with re-screwing the screw in. Um, so I just drop that in, screw that washer on to the bolt, make sure that's nice and tight because that then becomes the base for your tripod head. And then your tripod head simply screws in the top. 
I now have my three trekking poles and my tripod adapter so I can put them all together. So now normally if you'd be hiking, you'd have your poles extended already, which will speed up this whole process. So that's slightly different, but for the purposes of this demonstration, it'll be fine. And you simply insert your legs. And you have a decent sized tripod. Now the question is of course how stable is this tripod? As you can see it's pretty stable but I thought I'd illustrate it more clearly. So this is my G9 with my Leica 100 to 400 zoom lens which is my biggest heaviest lens and one of the largest micro four third lenses you can get. And I am absolutely confident that I can put this on this head and it will be able to deal with it. So here we have it on the head, on the tripod, and it is very, very stable. So this is my full height tripod. Now obviously there's uh, one glaring issue with my setup, which is that you need three trekking poles. and. That's fine for me because I'm hiking with my partner and we have four poles between us, but what about someone who's hiking on their own? Uh, obviously you're not going to be using three trekking poles. Well, there's a few options. Um, the first option and the easiest option and what I do for day hikes and what have you is I just carry three trekking poles. The reality is that uh, they're so lightweight compared to a tripod that uh, the three trekking poles and the adapter and head combined weigh less than a lightweight tripod. So these three trekking poles combined weigh about 750 grams and the adapter in this head is 173 grams. So you're just under a kilogram for a full size tripod. Uh, it's about 1.4 meters or so to the top of the head, just over. Uh, in comparison, my Benrode tripod weighs 1,076 grams and it's uh, significantly lower in height anyway. So, so even if I didn't need trekking poles for any reason, uh, there's a win just by carrying three trekking poles. Obviously, if you would normally take one or two trekking poles, then you're saving even more weight. Uh, you can go even further with that however because these are not the lightest trekking poles available. You can get trekking poles that are as light as 140 grams for some very lightweight carbon fiber poles. Your second option is to take your two trekking poles that you would normally take for hiking and then use something else for your third leg which could be something like a lightweight tent pole. I have a tent that has a separate brow pole uh, and I could use that as a third leg. However, there's several problems with that. It's nowhere near as stable as a trekking pole leg. Uh, it's not going to fit into the adapter as neatly uh, or be as stable on the ground. Uh, they're often pre-bent so you don't actually have a straight pole. Um, and you're also uh, fixed to the length of that tent pole. You can't adjust it so it restricts your ability to adjust your camera height and what have you and you'll have to match your trekking poles to the height of that pole. Option three is to take your two trekking poles and then to attach a guy line and peg it to the ground as your third pole. And that will give you some stability. You, you will need to lean the uh, bipod over to make sure that the tension pulling back from that guy line doesn't pull your tripod over, um, but you could do that. Now if you only use one trekking pole normally, you could actually use this adapter as well as a monopod, uh, just with the one pole attached. Again, it's not a really very stable solution. Um, honestly, just, just carry the three trekking poles, it's, it's not a lot of weight, particularly if you get light ones. 
Now there is one extra bonus feature of my lightweight tripod solution. It didn't really influence my decision making personally, but it may be useful for some of you, and that's an added level of security. Uh, many photographers will know that nothing quite declares that you have a backpack full of expensive camera gear like a tripod strapped to the outside of your bag. With this setup, because you don't have a tripod, you don't have that announcement to the world that you're carrying expensive camera gear. All they're going to see is three trekking poles strapped to a backpack. So that's a little bonus feature. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm hoping that my next video can be somewhere outside this yard. Uh, in the meantime, take care and I hope to see you again soon.